The Community Health Initiative works with community-based nonprofit organizations and small businesses that focus on health disparities, public health issues, medical and medical technology. The main resource that we have here at the university are our graduate students. The students that come to us come from a variety of places. They're both international students as well as students right here in Minnesota and all across the country. And our graduate students are the students that provide those wonderful resources to our community-based nonprofit organizations and small businesses. And what we're doing is we're guaranteeing that our communities will have a future group of young, smart, talented, well-educated folks. We're extremely proud of our relationship with Medica. In 2007, the partnership began. And since that time, countless numbers of students have had incredible experiences that have really catapulted their careers forward. Because of Medica's investment, those students are able to be paid while doing that internship, while doing that consulting experience, and it's made a difference for them because they didn't lose revenue. They didn't lose their ability to take care of themselves, pay the rent, or eat. Those dollars from the internship and the consulting experience really made a difference. And I think oftentimes we as adults think, well, that's not a whole lot of money, but if you're a graduate student, it might, it's everything. It means everything to you. My name is Cyrus Hare and I am a student in the School of Social Work here at the University of Minnesota. I would definitely describe myself while I was growing up, especially as an army brat. You know, I always had to move someplace new and meet new people, make new friends. And that was something that I think I carry with me now, just because I'm able to go into different situations, uh, work with different people and be able to strike up a connection pretty easily. My name is Carrie Carlson. I'm currently a graduate student of public health, um, fighting for health equity and um, environmental health is something I'm really passionate about. I'm from Minnesota and throughout my childhood growing up, we moved around a lot, struggled with housing and um, were pretty poor. And uh, in those situations, public health really was my safety net. It protected me um, and the people in my community and um, I would really like to get into a career that fights for those people. Hi, my name is Ruth Gabremedin, and I am a first-generation Ethiopian American. Having a brother with autism really changed my course of life. As someone who didn't speak for eight years, my family had to really change the way that we interacted and scheduled ourselves um, to accommodate his needs. It really required um, a lot of learning and a different type of compassion to adjust um, and to help support him so that he could be the best that he could be. Uh, naturally, I grew as into someone that could uh, easily relate to others, um, no matter what background that they came from. Um, and I also recognized that there was a need for people to uh, pursue uh, fields in which people that are marginalized or different needed help. It's not just a matter of funding, it's a matter of caring. It's a matter of saying, what can we do? What resources do we have around us that we can take, we can mold, we can shape, we can give an experience to, an experience for the students and also the organizations. My decision to come to the University of Minnesota was made easier by the partnership that's present between the Community Health Initiative and Medica. Yeah, this program really means a lot to me. Um, not only do I get to have experiences um, fighting for health equity. It's really been one of the biggest steps out of poverty for me in my life. In the end, having that CHI or Community Health Initiative scholarship is really what put me in a position to be like, okay, I think the University of Minnesota would be a good choice just because I would get some funding to attend school, but I would also get the training that I think would benefit me more long term. Working with these students a lot on a daily basis, weekly basis, I see them not only growing as students, but growing as individuals, growing as professionals, um, growing as people who could be advocates in the healthcare field and advocates for their own communities. Thanks Community Health Initiatives and Medica for changing my life. Thank you Community Health Initiative and Medica for changing my life. Thank you Community Health Initiative and Medica for changing my life.